<laughs> Good afternoon! It's uh, April 7th, Saturday. I'm joined here by Uno-san, Kimoto-san, Takahashi-san and myself. And we are talking about uh, new technology and the future of Japan. Uh, this is a, uh, an episode in a series and um, since I do not want to bore everybody to death, um, I would suggest that we're picking up where we last, uh, left last week. Um, I, I, I believe most of us uh, were here. Kimoto-san was not here. Um, maybe we can repeat a little bit of the video that we were watching. I think that will be important. Um, but we basically will focus on the video of Rifkin and we will look at uh, the effects of um, the new industrial revolution, the third industrial revolution, uh, where we had the first industrial revolution, steam power, steam-powered, uh, steam-powered uh, printing, uh, steam-powered uh, uh, transportation uh, on rail, on ships, uh, then moving into the second revolution, it was oil-powered um, <coughs> with the telephone, the television, the radio, and, uh, um, well, oil-powered cars, um, and that that basically set the, the the second industrial revolution. And we're still in the second industrial revolution. Uh, Rifkin uh, says, "Okay, well, we are need, we need to move to a to a third industrial revolution." And actually, it's happening. And he's putting a putting a few things together that are very interesting. Um, putting a few things, and he describes the third industrial revolution. And um, even though uh, this this is a video from two thousand fifteen. Uh, some of the things that he forecasted do not always did not uh, materialize as they come. I also think that he's a little bit exaggerating about his influence that he has in the entire process. Um, <clears throat> but uh, <coughs> he uh, uh, describes a very interesting and compelling case, um, <coughs> and I believe that this is um, uh, what what he describes is something that is necessary for us in order to uh, create a um, a safe and a uh, healthy future for, uh, for us in, uh, in the world and also in Japan. Um, after this, we are going to translate this back to Japan and say, okay, uh, looking at these global trends, what can Japan do? What, where it, does Japan stand? Um, and, and, and how can we actually uh, benefit from this trend or even be the driver of this trend? So um, in the in the first part of the video, which I'm not going to show, um, uh, Rifkin talks about uh, climate change, real-time climate change, and the effects of that. And he's uh, telling us that it's it's not just uh, the, the, the increase of the temperature by one degree, it's actually what that causes that is reason for worry. Um, it causes uh, uh, water patterns to dramatically change so for one one uh, degree increase in temperature uh, uh, increases uh, the uh, it changes the water flows and that can lead to very uh, very um, drastic and and dramatic weather patterns uh, typhoons um, droughts uh, everywhere and it's something that <coughs> seem to be supported by the climate data that, that we are in, in real-time climate change, as he calls it. Uh, a lot of species are at stake. Uh, some people forecast that, that, that in, in, uh, uh, in, in a few decades only uh, we could uh, face mass uh, extinction of species on this planet. So it is necessary that we do something and, 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 and we do something. What, what can we do? Well, in order to do that we need to realize that some things are broken. Um, we are depending on oil <coughs> for uh, as as the driving force of um, and, and fossil fuels, not only oil but also coal and fossil fuels. Um, <coughs> these fossil fuels, they are finite. Uh, they they have an end. They have an, a positive marginal cost. If we want to increase production, we need to use more of these fuels. So if we want to grow the economy, we need to grow the f this fuel, uh, this uh, the fuel consumption. Therefore, if the economy grows, the demand for these fossil fuel grows. If the demand for uh, grows with the st with the stable <coughs> supply, we actually are confronted with price rises. And what happened, what we saw in two thousand eight, is just before the the big financial crisis. Um, that's what everybody is still talking about. We saw that the oil price was 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 rising to one hundred forty seven dollars a barrel. And that's actually what, what triggered the crisis, is what, what Rifkin is claiming. 
um, and and it, this is a, this, in, in, in this scenario we will be in in a uh, in a case where whenever we want to grow we will we are confronted with the the rising price of our fossil fuels and the rising price of fossil fuels will basically make the growth come to a halt so we are in a catch-22 situation we need oil to grow but the oil will rise in price and therefore um, um, we, we cannot grow our economy much further we need to do something plus also we need to reduce our dependence on oil so what can we do what does the new world look like according to Rifkin um, he, he talks about a lot of things and I've chosen to actually drill down on a lot of them uh, I will not go into the product productivity discussion anymore <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna step we're gonna skip that one uh, but we got to pick up uh, I think we were here last time um, how further uh, so so basically we were at the level where we where we said okay uh, fossil fuels climate change uh, and, and a natural break on the on the economy uh, so we, we are we are caught in caught in a trap so what what, what are we going to do how further so we saw this this one that the oil price and the shale <coughs> はい、皆さんこんにちは。運野です。今日はですね。運野塾のあの研修のプログラムをご紹介したいと思います。で、まあこういう風うなホームページありますけれども、あの是非ですね。あの一度中身をご覧になっていただきたいと思います。あ、今日はブーキューブさんのスタジオに来てまあ、この収録をしておりますので、えー、中身はこういう風になってて、今最近ホットなね。グローバルリーダーの定義など書いております。で、特にあの経団連が作成しました。まあ、留学すればあの英語ができて専門性を持つというだけではですね、えー、グローバルリーダーにならないとここに書いてありますようにですね、えー、仕事ができる専門性を持つ英語ができるだけじゃなくてですね私どもの塾ではあリベラルアースということそれからあもう一つは孫子の平和さらにはですね、えー、日本の歴史というものを合わせて教えることによって皆さんが海外の欧米の方々ともしくは華僑圏の方々と正々堂々と渡り合えるような人物を育成しようというふうなことを考えています。ここにあの次のスライドが出ておりますけれども、ここにあの書いてありますのでですね、さらに、えー、私どもの運の塾の中身につきましてはですね、えー、欧米の資料しか使っておりません。またあ実際に運の塾は英語ではやっておりますので、まあ英語の講師がこう話しておりますけど、学習はですね、えー、日本の歴史をまだ教えて